Hey three, I'm going to give you a quick tour of Google Earth and how to use it. So hopefully some of you have used this before, but don't worry if not. Now I just simply typed Google Earth into my search bar um, and this page came up here. I then went over to Launch Earth and then I was able to see, there we go, the Earth right here. Now Google Earth basically shows us a 3D representation of the Earth based primarily on satellite images. Now you can use your mouse, mine's not loading too well at the moment, but to scroll around like this and move the earth around, okay? And you can zoom in and out with these little buttons down here. Now, let's see if we can find, these are some recent searches that I've done. So I'm going to search for the UK. So you can type anywhere you like into the search bar and it'll take you directly there. There we are. Now you can see on the right here we have a little knowledge card which is fantastic because it tells you where you are and it gives you some facts about that area. Now do you think you could point to where you think London is in the United Kingdom? Okay, where you write London should be round about this area here. So let's see if we can search for, let's go for Chiswick in London. There we go, where you write with your pointing. Okay, so it actually takes you really close, which is great. And you can use your mouse to navigate around. Now, I'm actually going to get rid of this. Can I move this out of the way? I'm going to cross this off and take my little person, which is down here on the right, and drop my person onto my map. Now let's see where we end up. Now you might have done this before on Google Maps, but oh, we've ended up in a little country lane, I think. Now this is really cool because it can take you exactly to see the street view. Let's zoom out a little bit here. Okay, so let's go back out towards, let's go back to Chiswick. Now, a lot of this will be around, be about playing around with them, um, with Google Earth and seeing, seeing how you can, what you can discover. I'm just going to show you the sidebar down here. Um, Voyager. Now, this is quite a nice thing. If you wanted to have a little play with this later, um, there's lots of interesting things you can see: uh, quizzes and games, and nature tabs, culture. And it really does show you some very, very interesting articles and different things you can have a look at. And let's go back. Um, I'm feeling lucky. If you clicked on that, it will take you to somewhere completely random um, anywhere in the world. So that might be quite a fun thing to play with too. Projects. Um, if you choose to make your own projects within Google Earth, you can do that. Uh, map style. So if you click on this, you can decide how you would like to view the map. Um, now this one here, I like this one, this uh, measures distance and area. So if we zoom out, and if we keep going, we can measure how far it is from, where shall we do? Should we try London to maybe somewhere in, in Scotland, maybe Glasgow? If I click on what looks like a ruler, how far, how many kilometers do you think it might be? Have a guess. Okay, I'm going to click my starting point and then I'm going to drag it over to Glasgow and double click it there. And it shows us over here, it is 345 miles. So let's see what that is in kilometers. Click on the little arrow and you can see in all different um 555.28 kilometers. Wow, it's a really long way. Um, now you can have a play with this and see how far, see if you can guess the journeys and how far it will be. Let's try to Manchester. 268 kilometers. Now we can, what does this button do? We can also fly to your location. So if you click that button and allow your computer to see exactly where your house is, you can also fly exactly and you'll be able to see an aerial view and probably the street view as well of where you live. Um, 
And what you can also do is, so later on, let's zoom out a little bit. And we can see, you'll be able to see the surrounding seas, which will be helpful for you later when you see our activities. And also, let's have a look for a city. Shall we try? Hmm, let's try Birmingham. And before you search for summer, see if you can guess where you think it is first and see if you can point to it with your finger and then see if you're right when you find it. Okay, so there's Birmingham. And again, we have our knowledge cards on the side. So when you look for a city to see where it is, have a little read about it, okay? And I think that is everything for Google Earth. So, oh, down here as well, you can also see wherever you put your cursor, it will tell you how far, this one tells me how far, how many degrees north and west I am. Okay, and whenever you want to return to your Earth view, you just click on the little world down here and it will take you back. And you can turn it around. Oh, what continent do you think this might be here? It is Africa, so well done if you got that right. Okay, I'm going to leave you to it. Enjoy, happy exploring, and good luck.